Yo, it's Father Earl here with your Preject Prescription for December 9th, 2009. And uh, we're picking up where we left off yesterday. We're still talking about how a boy becomes a man. And what you're watching over my shoulder there is uh, some footage of me back in, oh, 1990-something, uh, trying to be a stand-up comedian. Uh, and I'm using this to illustrate uh, the points that we've been making uh, along this journey. And what we've been talking about is uh, uh, coming straight out of the book of Genesis. And the first point we uh, said was that uh, in order for a boy to become a man, he has to develop a relationship with God. And then, uh, after he knows God, the second thing uh, he has to do is he has to get to know himself and his purpose, what God put him on the planet to do. And uh, this is what I was doing as I was making my journey from boyhood to manhood. Uh, even though I was in my 20s at that time, I was still a boy because I wasn't really clear on what it is God had put me on the planet to do. So I was trying my hand at comedy and that's what uh, children do. They try things before they realize that it's not for them. Uh, and so uh, the third uh, uh, point uh, we made is uh, that uh, after you've uh, uh, after you've gotten to know God and, uh, and, and yourself, then you need to be engaged, uh, actively engaged in doing, being and doing who you are, who God has uh, showed you that you are, um, uh, fulfilling your purpose. Uh, and you do that so that you can both support yourself uh, in pursuit of your purpose and uh, others around you. Who are standing, uh, you know, in their purpose in relationship to you? Well, uh, the fourth step now towards manhood is uh, still found in the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse eighteen, where uh, God says, "It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help that is fit for him." And so God creates Eve, and in the creation of Eve. Uh, God uh, shows Adam one very vital and important thing, and that is that uh, even in the fulfillment of his purpose, that he's got to be open to relationship. Uh, uh, the next step towards manhood is to be ready to accept, maintain, and manage God-ordained relationships. See, Adam didn't have a wife relationship when he was first created. Uh, the only relationship he had really was with God and himself. And he had to grow to the place where he recognized his need for a mate. God said it's not good for him to be alone, but Adam had to get to the place where he accepted that and then gave himself to relationship. And so, Adam's wife was given to him to maximize life. You don't become a man until you begin to recognize that your life cannot be maximized until you have the right people in your life, the right relationships in your life, relationships that were meant to maximize your life and also relationships that were designed for you to speak into. Uh, Eve could not be who she was designed to be without Adam doing what he was designed to do. And the whole point of relationship is to point us back to the relationship with God. In Ephesians 5, Paul says that the relationship between a man and his wife is symbolic of the relationship between Christ and the church. And what we need to recognize is that God is always replicating heaven right here on earth. And just like there's a relationship among the Godhead in heaven, God wants there to be a visible, replicated relationship among his people here on the planet. And men uh, facilitate that. You can't have relationship until a man recognizes that he is a relational being, that he's not just a lone ranger, that he's not just on the planet to fulfill his own desires and his own purposes. Uh, that's what children do. It's all about them. When you become a man, there becomes room in your life for somebody else. 
All right. Well, that's it, beloved. We're going to uh, close it here. Father, thank you for this revelation. Help us to begin to walk it out in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I'd like you to do three things for me. I'd like you to send this to somebody you know who needs it. And I'd like you to log on to prejects.com where you can find this and other prescriptions like it to uh, help heal uh, heal your sister and fill you up and overflow you into other people's lives and then I'd like you to go to our YouTube page if you're not already there and subscribe to our videos and then go to the bottom of the page and leave a channel comment uh, so that others can see how God is blessing you through these messages. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time. Uh, and uh, we'll be picking up on uh, step number five and completing the series on uh, how a boy becomes a man. Uh, see you tomorrow. God bless you.